hey guys welcome to mnmm plants today i want to discuss about these beautiful plants over here they're called jade plants this is also a jade plant which i have in straight in the soil i mean in the ground and there is another jade plant over here which is this one which is in the pot so let us understand about these plants today and one of the easiest to take care plants i would say so if you are someone who has no time absolutely no time to take care of any plant and wants a plant still wants a plant in their garden in their house jade plants are the best option i would say so if you closely have a look at the leaves of jade plants they are very glossy they are very thick in nature the reason is that they can store water in them so so these are your typical succulents your cactus family plants and hence they don't need water the one that i've planted straight in the ground i water this plant like once in 20 days sometimes i even forget that i might water it for like once in a month the one that's in the pot yes that needs to be watered frequently so this one i do water like once in a week or 10 days if it's extremely hot then maybe once in a week so that's the reason i said that very easy to take care plant because if you forget watering them for a few days they will not die the leaves might go small and thin but that's perfectly fine you can always give it water and they will go back to their original nature the second thing that i want to cover is if you have space it's best to what uh, it's best to plant them straight in the ground so that there is absolutely zero care that you have to take because they are in the ground you don't need to fertilize them every now and then but if you don't have a lot of space and you want to pot them in the uh, pots then you have to be very careful of the soil that you make you have to make the a very very loose well drained soil the water should absolutely not be locked in the pot the soil should be so well drained the moment you water the plant it just would moist uh, you know moisten up the soil and the water just straight away is out of the pot that's how well drained your soil needs to be the next thing i want to cover is their light requirements they love a lot of light light in abundance the more light they get the better they grow look at the health of my jade plant like honestly i never even look at this plant and it's just doing well so good like not at all demanding so these are those plants that you should definitely have in your garden because not only they give that green good look but also you feel proud about yourself that you know uh, you're not taking much care of it and they're still giving you that lush green color look at the color of this jade leaves like you know green color with red border and zero care what I have done is they get like 70% of direct sunlight. So from morning 11, they get start getting the sun till evening and they love it. No matter it's winter or summer, they get sun the whole day whenever there is sun. And this plant has never died because it's getting direct sun or the one that's in the pot that also gets like um, the same amount of sunlight. It's just that because it's in pot, I have to water it a lot more frequently compared to the one that's straight away in the ground so i still water this like once in a week when it's super hot and it's always there in the sun the next thing i want to cover is fertilizing the jade plants now i have never fertilized my jade plant that's there in the ground uh, never ever till date in past two years this has been with me for two years the one that's there in the pot i fertilize it once in a year maximum and that's it no more fertilizer than that and for fertilizer what i do is i just remove the top one inch of the soil that's there in the pot and i'll just add a little bit of bone meal powder and the cow manure that's it um, nothing special nothing extraordinary and that to once a year so if you look at my soil i'll just show you my soil here i'm trying to make a clay ball and i'm not successful in doing it that's how well drained your soil should be because the roots they need to breathe they need to be loose you can't suffocate your roots by making a very clay soil your soil has to be such porous and well drained and your plants especially the plants like succulents and jade plants obviously is a succulent they would love it so that's how your soil should be the next thing is to prune your jade plants whether it is in ground or it's in pot especially if you're trying to make a bonsai of your jade plant which is very famous 
and you know these days people love making bonsai which is great i honestly am not into bonsai i just like my plants to be you know just grow naturally and not to uh, you know prune them a lot but i do prune them because i also want to you know my, my garden to look neat and tidy and clean uh, so i always prune my plants from the bottom part if you have a look i've completely chopped off so many branches from the bottom part just because i don't want any branch to touch the ground or the soil that just avoids any sort of fungal attack so these are the new shoots that are all coming up because of the chopping that i've done completely chopped off everything from here and i just want my tree to go go tall and look beautiful so the more i do chopping from the bottom part the more it will grow tall and it will look beautiful and will get that tree like shape another easy thing that i want to share is propagating your jade plant it is the easiest propagation one can ever do you can even propagate from this leaf it's that easy even if you plant the leaf that leaf will have roots in a few days and if you don't want to do that you can also propagate from the branches no need of any scissor or any special instrument let's just pick any one random here i'll just break the branch very easily let's say i break it into two and i want to propagate this one i'll just remove a few leaves from the bottom part because the more the number of leaves the more energy it will take so i'll just get rid of the extra leaves this straight into the well drained soil i have to make sure that it's getting into the soil that's it i just have to make sure that it's getting the proper support i'll just tighten up the soil and it's all ready in a few weeks it will have roots also like many other plants they love growing in summers in winters they go dormant so if you want to still add any fertilizer just so that your jade plant is healthy and it grows a lot the best time to add fertilizer would be spring um, the beginning of summer and then during summer season but please don't add any fertilizer during winter season uh, because it's not required and also you can do mulching on the ground if you want where you have planted your jade just so that when it gets super cold the roots are protected from that cold atmosphere only if it gets super super cold over at your place and similarly when it's very hot uh, the roots will stay cool because of the mulching you can do that i haven't done mulching at my place because it doesn't get that cold and it doesn't get that hot as well it does get hot over here but it's only for a week or two otherwise the temperature is mostly less than 30 degrees celsius which is perfectly fine and even when it's winter it doesn't get that bad the worst it get, goes to is like 1 or 2 degrees celsius we never go in minus which is perfectly fine for my jade plants the last thing i want to cover is that these jade plants they are considered lucky uh, the the word jade also means angel and these plants are considered very lucky i am not sure if that's true or not but if you believe so you should definitely get them in your garden and if you don't believe so you can still get them in your garden because they are lovely looking plants they are beautiful they will add a lot of greenery to your garden and with absolutely zero care and maintenance with that i'll take your leave if you did like this video do consider subscribing this channel and being part of this family bye for now mm -hmm.